Air Force basketball on altitude is brought to you by Huberger Subaru. That's right, Huberger, the road to quality and economy. Well, this is a tough one to swallow because the Air Force Academy Falcons had a 20-point lead with 18-19 left in this one. And powered by Omari Moore, the Spartans of San Jose State stormed back. I mean, acrobatic, high-flying pace. And then, then he did it on the defensive end and willed him back into this ball game for a 63-61 win. It was really the tale of two halves. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, Air Force, phenomenal job. The first half executed the game plan exactly how I would imagine Joe Scott drew that up. Second half even came out of the gate pretty hot. Air Force Did. came out 6-1 and one, um, to, to start those probably the first three minutes of the game. And then all of a sudden, Amari Moore, I mean, just continued to throw this team on his back. But I think what he started to do was get more players involved. Well, you talked about it at halftime, and I thought it was a great call because Alvaro Cardenas, you said he needed to get involved. Cardenas was a huge part of this second half because somebody needed to come along with Omari to get things rolling for San Jose State. And it, listen, fact of the matter is Air Force just went cold. They, they went completely cold. I, I wouldn't even say it's necessarily anything they did horrendously on the defensive yeah. end of the floor no. or, or from a rebounding standpoint. They did a pretty good job at taking care of the basketball. They just they they went, went cold, cold at the wrong time. They got yep. the shots they wanted down the stretch. That shot by Bo Becker at the end. I mean, that's as good a look as they're going to get. Yeah, yeah. I had a chance to, to get there and tie it. Let's take you through the storyline of this basketball game. And it listen, it's senior day. So what happens? Three seniors start. Carter Murphy, senior. Yeah, hard to tell, senior, senior. But he gets the jumper here on the fadeaway. And then Vanderswag was outstanding. I mean, both of those guys combined for 30 points for the Falcons. One of the little foul on that one, wasn't able to get that one to go, but so good. Finished with 13 points, three of three from the three-point line. Nick Jackson got yeah. involved as well. Nick Jackson with the thunderous slam here. And so all three seniors getting, getting some go there. But really the story of this basketball game was Armari Moore. He took it over. I mean, 33 points. That's a new season high for him. 14 of 24 from the field, three of eight from the three-point line. When he was going downhill, Air Force had no answer. There were, he was so tough to guard. This is the big shot here by Tibet Gorner that got the lead for him hitting this three. Yeah, I think you just started seeing more San Jose State players getting involved offensively that second half. This was a big possession here, a big steal, which ultimately ended up tying the game. Yeah, Carter Murphy finishes at the rim. That was a big play. Yeah, and, and what Murphy did there was kind of stop a run to get things going back for the Air Force Academy. And here you see it again on the steal. Vanderschwag knew what to do with it, but slowly San Jose State built a four-point lead. And that's kind of where the end of the game came as it came wild. Vanderschwag hits the three. Looks like he could have been whistled for a foul and a four-pointer would have tied it up. I mean, just a chaotic end of this game and the final play. I mean, the, the Jets on Carter Murphy to get this downhill into the rim, but how about the play, Amari Moore. I mean, talk about a guy that just completely took over this basketball game and that is the story of the game. Look at those assist numbers. Air Force did a really good job sharing the basketball. They out-rebounded San Jose State, which is the best rebounding team in the Mountain West. You look at those three-point field goal and field goal percentages. They only hit one in the sec second half. You know what? I you look at that assist number. How often do you see a team win a basketball game when they've recorded six assists. Well, and I, it's not very often. Four of those came in the second half, so that just goes to show you how much of a one-man show it was for a while. Air Force went cold, only one of six from the three-point line that second half. They had great looks. Yeah. They just they couldn't drop. Well, listen, for the Air Force Academy, they, they just fell short of that 15-win total. For a regular season, it's been a season of growth for this basketball team, and most of the players, 17 of the 20 underclassmen, I mean, this they started three sophomores and two freshmen for most of the season. Well, and I think a huge thing is, is you know, you're looking at Joe Scott's teams and the message is we belong in these games. Yes. You know, all of these last three three losses. UNLV have, was a heartbreaker. Have been by, by two possessions or less. And so I know it's a heartbreaker. I know they would have loved to have come out with a win today on Senior Day. But, you know, the, the progress and the growth, the, honestly, the both of these programs right. show have, has been fun to watch. Yeah, Tim Miles, the former uh, coach at Colorado State, is, has done something in San Jose State, hasn't done it quite so time. If they do not make the tournament, they have an excellent chance of making the NIT. They haven't been there in 42 years. 1981 was the last time they were there. Final score tonight, 
is the Air Force Academy Falcons falling 63-61. to We will be back next season. This has been a presentation of Altitude Sports and Entertainment, your home for the Air Force Falcons. For myself, Todd Romero, my outstanding partner, Rachel Galligan, and the crew here at Air Force, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you all season long on Altitude Sports as the Nuggets make a run for the title and as well as the Western Conference. That'll do it for the Academy, the final 63-61. Thank you.